So dear students, we are going to start currency derivatives. And also here we are following uh, the text name is International Financial Management written by Jeff Madura. And before entering into currency derivatives or the various types of currency derivatives that are known as forward futures and options, it is very much important to understand the word derivative. Now, I, I am using one example. Suppose uh, a company named XY Chat and they want to buy one, one million dollar from HSBC Bank at the rate of Taka 85 per dollar. And the contract is for 90 days. It means XYZ Limited will get or will receive $1 million from HSBC Bank at the end of 90 days. But contract is signed today. So today, XYZ and HSBC Bank signed a contract to buy $1 million at the rate of TAKA 85 per dollar. And the time period of this contract is 90 days. Now, if you observe that the paper word is based on this contract, or we can say contract. So contract is a paper. What is signed in between X, Y, Z and HSBC Bank. Now this contract is very powerful. You can say this contract is an asset. Why this contract is an asset? Because this is not a so-called contract. The value of this contract is $1 million. If next day the exchange rate changes in the market, that is TACA 85, instead of 85, TACA 86 per dollar, so though you have signed a contract of $1 million, in terms of TACA, today, the price of this contract is 85 million TACA. Next day, same contract price will be 86 million TACA. So you see that the value of this contract derived from the value of dollar. So the value of this asset derived from the value of another asset, what is known as dollar. And that's why this is called derivative. Derivative means when the value of one asset derived from the value of another asset or underlying asset. So this contract is an asset and what is the underlying asset of this contract? What is the underlying asset of this contract? Dollar. Dollar. So when dollar price moves, the contract value changes. If dollar price decline, contract value decline. And if we be the part of derivatives market, derivatives market allow us to buy and sell these kind of contract. So if XYZ listed with a derivative market, it means X, Y, Z need not to wait till 90 days. If X, Y, Z found that the exchange rate is increasing and there are buyers who are interested to buy this contract 
at the rate of taka 85.50 per dollar and if xyz wants to sell it xyz can sell it to another company jet limited and can make some money so these way our derivative works uh, you can use this concept for any other uh, calculation as well how suppose uh, you want to go to the commodities exchange that is also a derivative market for commodities commodities exchange that is available in uh, india as well commodities it is exchange so you can buy oil you can buy gold you can uh, buy rice you can buy coal you can buy wheat whatever the product through derivative market and following the same uh, way even our farmers if they are the part of derivative market they will be benefited how they will be benefited we need three to four months to get our crops three to four months three to four months to get our crops so always there is uncertainty what kind of uncertainty whether after three to four months uh, it is possible to get the right price of our crops so what can uh, we do what our farmers can do if they be the part of any derivative market now today because they know that after three four months they will have 10 ton rice so they can go to the derivative market today and they can uh, participate in bid through broker through broker like a stock market so they can fix their price of the rice that one ton rice price is dollar 1000 or 2000 and if there is any buyer they can lock the price so three four months later when there will be crop they will deliver the crop as per today's agreed price or the contract can be uh, exchanged they can sell the contract they can buy new contract so these were derivative market really help us uh, uh, to fix the price to lock the price and to minimize the risk and the key concept again when the price of one asset is derived from the price of its underlying asset that is called derivative 